In this Whereby tutorial, I'm just going to dive straight in and show you how to use Whereby. Okay, so this is Whereby, it's free. Uh, you can see that I've got a Whereby room. So basically when you sign up, you can just have whereby.com forward slash and you can just have whatever you want there. So you could have your name for your own personal account or you could create a group, for example, and you could enter that there. And with that link, it's very, very simple for other people to join. You just grab the link, you share it with someone else. All they have to do is click on it so they don't have to download anything, they don't have to open up different apps and all this kind of stuff, they just click on the link and they can join your meeting. You can also have the room locked, so if you're on a meeting and someone else clicks on the link because you've already sent it to them in the past or maybe you've got your link on somewhere like Facebook that someone else could find, if they click on the link and you've got your room locked, then you'll see who's trying to enter or who's knocking to join the call and you can choose to allow them in the call or you can put them on hold or refuse them to join the call at that time. So if I wanted to send someone the link so they can join the call, I would just copy the link and then send it to them, for example, Facebook Messenger, email or anywhere else you wanna share it. And if I want to start a meeting, then I'd click start meeting. So if I click start meeting, then you'll see this opens up and this is where you can see that you can select your camera so if we click here you'll see I'm using the Logitech Brio or I can choose to use the FaceTime HD camera or Epcam so I'm going to leave this one and for the microphone you can see here I'm using the Snowball mic but I could choose from whichever mic that I've got connected and then I'll just leave this as default internal speakers and that's obviously for for me to hear them you can even turn on noise reduction so if you've got stuff going on in the background you can turn that on and then that will be muted and then you just click join meeting Okay, so again in here you can see you can copy the link, grab the link and then share it with someone else. You can see that this room is locked at the moment, so guests need to knock to enter the room and you can click here to unlock the room. Now to lock it, all I did was go here and you can see now you've got more settings, so you've got room and this is where I toggled this on. If you toggle it off, anyone who clicks on the link can join your call. So I toggled that on. You can see room size, large, up to 100 people can join, or small, just for one to two people. With a free account, you can do one-to-one -one calls for an unlimited amount of time, and for large calls with a free account, then you can have a call for 45 minutes. If you need to have large group calls for longer than 45 minutes, when it's coming up to 45 minutes, then you'd need to leave the call and you could all rejoin, or if you just upgrade, then the call time would be unlimited. You can change the theme, so you can choose different background colors. You can see the background color here, or you can even upload an image. So you can go to library and choose a different image here. But I'm just gonna leave it on none. Integrations, you can see a few options here. You can even watch YouTube videos together in a room. Video and audio, you can see here, this is where you can change your, uh, your camera, your microphone, speaker, noise reduction, turn it on or off. HD video if you prefer, but it takes more resources. Choose widescreen video when available and choose whether or not you want to use the mirroring option so that you can see yourself in the self view. You have effects over here so you can have no effect. You can even blur the background so you can add a light blur. You see this blurry background here, strong blur. And if we leave this to none effect or you can even change the background so we can change this and you'll see it's got a completely different background there. So I'm going to leave that as no effect at the moment. Notifications, you can get desktop notifications to let you know when a guest is entering a room or knocking to enter. And general, you've got a few options there and you've got advanced with a few more options here. Okay, but I just wanna dive in and show you some of the features that you can use whilst you're on a call. Okay, so if we look here, you can see at the bottom, you can choose cam. So if we click this, that turns the camera off and it'll just show your uh, profile image and you can also change the background effects and video settings from here as well. Microphone. You can change the microphone or turn the noise reduction on and off. Change the audio settings or mute the mic. So if you've got stuff going on and you need to do something or you need to speak to someone, then you can just mute the mic so that that's not gonna be heard during the call. So if you need to share your screen, you can just click here and then you can click share screen and then you would click on the screen and click share. And then everyone would see or the person on the other end of the call would then see your, your screen that you're sharing. And that's a really easy way to show someone how to do something online. So if we click cancel, you can even record your call. So you can click record there, but you would need to upgrade. So if we click this, and if you need to send a text message, then you can click here and you can start a chat message here. So if we, for example, during a call, if you wanted to send a message to everyone or if you wanted to send someone a link, then you can just add that in the chat message here and click send, and then everyone will see that and then they can go onto the chat and click the link if there is one. So if we just close this, 
you can click people and that will tell you all the people that are on the call and if you've got someone on the call that's making a noise they've got a lot of stuff going on in the background or they're just not really paying attention then you can actually turn the camera off you can mute them or you can click here and you can actually set the uh, display name as well so if someone joins the call and they haven't set their display name then you can choose to do that for them so that everyone else on the call will know who it is so if we just close this uh, then finally you'll see here leave room so you can leave the room or if you're actually managing the meeting then you'd click here to end the meeting for all okay so what I'll do now I'm just going to copy this link I'm going to send it to someone and then you'll see when they click the link you'll see what happens within this meeting okay so I've just sent the link sent it to them on Facebook Messenger and once they click the link you'll see what happens now if you remember I locked the room okay so they won't be able to click the link and join the call straight away if I unlock the room then they would as soon as they click the link they'd join the call so now you'll see Chris has just clicked the link and we can choose to let him in or you can type a response here so we'll click let in okay how you doing mate I'll just turn my camera back on there we go and that's how to use whereby so all you need to do now is head over to whereby.com click here to try whereby for free and you can sign up with Google, with Apple, or with your email. So you can enter your email address, your full name, click to accept Whereby's terms and conditions, choose whether or not you want to receive news and tips and offers, and then click continue. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy using Whereby.